Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be looking at Stochastic RSI Indicator. So we'll see how you can use the Stochastic RSI. What is Stochastic RSI first? So Stochastic RSI, also known as Stock RSI, is an indicator used in technical analysis that ranges between 0 and 1 or 0 and 100 on some charting platforms. It is used to create, it's created by applying the Stochastic Oscillator formula to a set of relative strength index values rather than a standard price data. So using this relative strength index values within the stochastic formulas gives the trader an idea of whether the current RSI value is overbought or oversold. So this oscillator was developed to take advantage of both momentum indicators in order to create a more sensitive indicator that is attuned to a specific security's historical performance rather than a generalized analysis of the price change. So this is basically an indicator of an indicator and it is in, used in technical analysis to provide a stochastic calculation to the RSI indicator. This means that it is a measure of RSI relative to its own high or low range over a user defined period of time. The stochastic RSI is an oscillator that obviously calculates between 0 and 1 and this is then plotted as a line. This indicator is primarily used for identifying overbought and oversold signals. So when you apply it on a chart, so this is the Nifty 50 index and we have applied the stochastic RSI values on the chart. So it appears specifically on the lower region and we have the overbought and oversold ranges properly lined up and we have the RSI stochastic RSI indicator on top of it. So the stochastic RSI reading above 0 0.8 is considered overbought or while a reading below 0 0.2 is considered oversold. So this can be 0 to when it is 0 to 100 above 80 is overbought and below 20 is oversold. So overbought doesn't generally mean that the price will reverse lower just like oversold doesn't mean that the price will reverse higher. A reading of the zero means that the RSI is at its lowest level in 14 periods or whatever look back is chosen. So the general use is 14 periods. So we'll be using that also in this chart and for examples. The reading of 1 or 100 means that the RSI is at its highest level in the last 14 periods. Other stochastic RSI values show where the RSI is in relative to the high or the low. So here we have the stochastic RSI. We have used the 14 period and we can see this in the chart. So with this chart, you can tell that when it's crossing below the 20 mark line, we have the oversold category and when it crosses up, we have the overbought. And when the market is a little volatile, it keeps giving frequent ups and downs, which you have to be a little careful for. And here we have the bearish trend clearly showing and with this, it hits the 100 mark level. And this shows that it's clearly overbought and here in this region we have the oversold it has hit the zero line and this is the oversold line so in this specific example it, we can see how the chart will look when it touches the overbought like the zero line and when it hits the hundred line so extreme low and extreme highs so here the formula for the stochastic RSI if you'd like to uh, calculate it yourself and understand how the indicator works so that you can develop your strategy around it. So stochastic RSI is calculated by using RSI minus the lowest RSI divided by the highest, highest relative strength index reading minus the lowest strength relative strength index reading. So this is how you can use it to calculate the values. So the generally used number of periods in this uh, RSI level is 14 periods. On the 14th period, you can note the current RSI reading, the highest RSI reading and the lowest RSI reading. Now you can use this and apply it on, on, into the equation and get the 
uh, RSI, the stochastic RSI value. On the 15th period, note the current RSI reading, highest RSI reading and the lowest RSI reading, but only for the last 14 period, not the last 15. In that way, you can compute the new stochastic RSI. So as each period ends, you can compute the new stochastic RSI value only using the last 14 RSI values. So this is for the average, that is the specific number of periods, which is 14. So once you apply it, you can see how it applies on the stock chart. The blue line here is the stochastic RSI. Sometimes you can also use crosses of the 50 level and you can use, be, use this for buying or selling signal. When the stochastic RSI crosses above 50, you can buy and when it crosses below 50, you can sell. If the underlying prices make a new higher low that isn't confirmed the stochastic RSI, this divergence can signal a price reversal. So this is also one more way to use this indicator. So here we can see some range bound and when it's specifically so close range bound, you can use the 50 line in your strategy. So here in this chart, this is like a basic stripped down chart you can use to understand how the 20 line and the 100 line will look when you're applying it in your trading strategy. So let's look at the limitations of this now. The one downside is that it tends to be quite volatile, rapidly moving from high to low. So smoothing this may help. Some traders will take a moving average of the stochastic RSI to reduce the volatility and make the indicator more useful. So you can use a 10 day simple moving average of the stochastic RSI and this will help you produce an indicator that's much smoother and more stable. Most charting platforms allow for applying one indicator, applying one type of indicator to another without any personal calculations required. So you can just generally apply it on the charting platform. So here, since we have two lines here, that is what has happened. So the stochastic RSI is the second derivative of the price. In other words, its output is two steps away from the actual price of the asset being analyzed, which means at times it may be out of sync with the asset's market price in real time. So this is one thing you have to keep in mind when you're using this indicator. So here we can see the market is at an all time high and here it's not quite that high in the chart itself. So you have to be a little uh, aware of the divergences which occur in a range bound market. As you can see, we're getting frequent highs and lows and the market is keep give, keeping on giving signals. Here in the extremely bullish trend also, we can see that even though this specific high is not quite as high, since it's using the specific past 14 periods, it's given a high here. So you also have to choose your time period or your look back period correctly when you're using this indicator. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel.